Four years after the Ngarbu massacre, victims are still waiting for justice. At least 22 people, including 13 children and a pregnant woman, were killed 14 February 2020 during a military operation in that part of the Donga Mantum Division, northwest region of Cameroon. We are still before the military tribunal in Yaoundé. I myself am very surprised with the lengthy nature of this case. We are tired of the, the numerous adjournment. I cannot really tell you exactly what we have done. We have not moved any forward. The prosecution has not yet proven its case, made a case. We, the defense, we have not even been able to cross-examine or to establish any case. We are just from one incident to the other, from one adjournment to the other. Several obstacles have hindered the progress of the case at the Yaoundé Military Court. One of the major hindrances in the fire, first of all, is the magistrate handling the case. She, she, the way the case is handled by her, uh, I can see a majority of the incidents in the file, she's the one who causes it. From one adjournment to the other, at times, no reason. It has weakened uh, the victims who were coming or their legal heads because it is, first of all, very tedious for them to leave Garbo to come to Yaoundé for hearing. Meantime, Equinox Television obtained information from a confidential document revealing that government had paid compensation to persons who are not the known unidentified victims and right holders of the Ngarbu massacre. Through a cooperative credit union, three persons received a total of 20 million francs yevi. Government has decided to settle the, 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 the so-called victims or heads that they believe that were the, 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 the victims of the Gabu massacre, whereas the true uh, heads or victims are before the court while waiting that justice will be served. Human Rights Watch has issued another statement demanding for justice for the victims and right holders of the Ngarbu massacre.